All right, we are back. Um, another installment of one of my videos. I don't think you understand how um, excited I am to make the first video of the year, and I'm glad you guys get to experience that. Um, it's a big day for all of us, okay? So I hope you're having a good day in class and uh, enjoying the sub. First things first, why don't you have a good weekend, all right? Uh, but today we're going to talk about compositions of functions, okay? It is the hot pocket day, and I am so mad I'm not there, but this is, I mean, this is fun too, right? Yeah, okay, for sure. Um, so uh, remember, we have a test next Thursday, and our song of the day is, well, Hot Pockets, all right? Um, this portion here, we're going to circle back to it. We're going to skip. Skip, 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 and we're going to go to number seven. All right, we're going right to number seven. I believe it's the page 37. Okay, um, first of all, fill out these tables. All right, for f of x, I have negative one. I plug it into my function for f of x, negative one plus five, you know, is what? Oh, yeah, it's four. Okay, um, and then fill it out for five. Six, check it out, it's going up by one, seven, eight. Let's use the finger. Okay, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. All right, same thing over here. Let's fill out for g of x. I plug in negative one to x squared, I get one, zero, one, four, niner. Let's write that four. Okay, help me. Okay, let's try that again. A four. A niner, 16, 25, 36. All right. Now, here's where things get kind of funky. Okay. Um, first of all, g of 2. We know what g of 2 is. I take 2 and I plug it into x into my equation, right? Well, luckily, I already did that in this table. I found out if I plugged x into g of x, if I plug 2 in for x, I get 4. So g of 2 is 4. You can refer to the table for some of these values, okay? That's why doing that um, was pretty helpful. If I look up at my table for f of 4, I have 9, okay? I'm going to fill out, let's do g of 7 as well. That's 49 because that's 7 squared, okay? And then let's talk about the hot pockets, all right? Hot pockets, right? Everyone, everyone likes a good hot pocket, you know, right? I'm like more of a ham and cheese guy, okay? Or maybe like a pizza, like a pepperoni sausage, cheese. Mm, yeah, now I'm getting hungry. Okay, so hot pockets cooked from the inside out, right? So when we do a problem like this is a composition of functions, I work at the inside first. So I'm going to write g of 2 down first, okay? Well, g of 2, if I look up at my table, is 4, all right? So now, this g of 2 here, okay, we found out was 4, okay? So now I want to take f of my new value of 4, and f of 4 is 9. So my final answer is 9, okay? That's a little different, right? Let's, let's backtrack it. Let's... let's Let's circle back here. So g of 2, right? I work from the inside out. g of 2, I looked up my table, and that was 4, okay? So now I take this 4 and plug it back in, and I find f of 4 to get my answer to be 9. Let's try another one. Inside out, we're going this one. Inside out. Hot pocket it up. f of 2. Well, what is f of 2? f of 2 was 7, right? Well, now what am I going to do with this 7? Good question. I'm so glad you asked it. I'm going to plug it in to G. So G of 7, while that's not on our table, check it out, yo, right there is 49. So that is my final answer. Wow. Um, let's try, we're going to, uh, yeah, let's try one of these. All right, let's try this one. Or, no, let's do, yeah, let's do this one. Okay, so F of 0 was 5, right? Well, what do I do with the 5? You feel alive, and you plug it back into G now. I take that 5, so now I find G of 5, and that is 25, which is my answer. Should we do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. So G of negative 3 is 9. So now what do I want to do? I want to find F of 9 
which is 14. Now that was the nine wasn't on our table, neither there was a negative three. So I can plug in negative three for my X value, negative three times negative three is nine. Plug in nine up here, nine plus five gives me 14. Okay, all right. So what we're doing here is this is called a composition of functions, all right? So you're going to see a problem like this. It says F of G of X, okay? That is not your traditional hot pocket. Okay, I wouldn't even consider it a cold pocket, really, which is unfortunate, okay, because we're not talking about hot pockets anymore, all right? My first function, my outer function, okay, the outside function is f of x, all right? I'm going to write that down, x plus 5, okay? When I took f of, let's say this was 2, what did I do with the 2? I substituted the 2 in for my x value. But now instead of 2, I have my function g. So I'm going to take that g of x, which was x squared, and substitute it in for x. Plus 5 still comes. So my answer for f of g of x is x squared plus 5. Okay, that's a little weird. I understand that, but there's a reason for this. Okay, there's a reason we're doing this. g of f of x. Okay, well, this is, again, not a hot pocket, okay? This is outside in, all right? Reverse it up. Again, g is my out, outer function, which was x squared. Well, now I want to substitute f of x in to x. Replace f of x with f of x, which was x plus 5. Now that's being squared. What the heck? Now this is being squared. And this is, oh boy, this is f of x. So, and in, in really to expand, we could expand this, all right? I, you don't have to. Remember, this is x plus 5 times x plus 5. Oh, what the heck? Let's try to do this. Here we go. Wow. Technology, right? x plus 5 times x plus 5, okay, which would be x squared plus 10x by foiling. If we foil that out, plus 25, all right? If we foil that out, if we wanted to do that, okay? Make sure, you know, you understand that if I square a binomial, all right, like x plus 5 squared or 2x plus 3 squared, you know to write it twice and then foil, okay? And then multiply those out, all right? Um, so what, that's what, kind of what you notice. You square the number and then you add 5 to it. Let's try... This says try it on your own, but let's just, I mean, I'm having too much fun here with this video, you know, so oh, I'm going to talk to it. Here we go. Um, negative one for X. All right. These are a lot of fractions, which kind of stink, but oh, okay. God bless America. So this ends up being 11 over three. Okay. Or 3.66. I like, I like to be exact. Uh, this is four. I got 13 over three here. I got 14 over three. Um, this should be 5, right? Yeah, this should be 16 over 3, 17 over 3, and this is 6, all right? I know I did that fast, but that's okay. All I'm doing is plugging negative 1 in for x. I mean, you could actually, what you could do is plug these functions into your table and then get all the table values as well, all right? Oh, boy. I'm going to have to pause. All right, um, I will... BRB. Hang tight for a minute. Sorry about that little noise. Sorry about that break. Had a little meeting there. Okay. Um, let's talk about, let's talk to G of X for a second. Okay. Negative one. If I plug negative one in for X, or if you did this in your, if you looked up the table in your calculator, because we're so good at that calculator stuff now, huh? Oh. Have your attention with Dave Rickabow. Please meet your father in front. He's waiting. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Anyway, so we got negative 12 here. I got negative 9, negative 6, negative 3, 0, 3, 6. Okay. Let's talk to some more hot pocket examples. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Let's, let's talk to it. Here we go. Um, I'm going to skip these, these, these ones here. All right. We'll skip those. Let's try a hot pocket. All right. Actually, why don't you do this? Why don't you pause for a second? I want you to try, try this one. Okay. And this one. Go do, do those two, pause me, and then come back for a minute.
seriously. Pause it. All right, hopefully you paused it, okay? Um, remember, you work from the inside out, so G of 2, that was negative 6, okay? And now I'm plugging negative 6 into F. So F of negative 6 equals, what did I get? 2. All right, and we're doing this one. So F of 2 was, oh, that's, that stinks, 14 over 3. So if I take G of 14 over 3, I get 2. All right. That's pretty interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, pretty interesting here. Okay. Let's let's look at something. This observations part we're going to we're going to we're going to do f of g of x and then we'll try g of f of x, okay? I want you to try those two. Okay? Try f of g of x and then g of f of x. Remember our rules, all right? Outside function first, which was x over 3 plus 4, right? 4, yeah. And then plug g of x in here. Okay, go ahead. So 3x minus 12. So I got 3x minus 12 over 3 plus 4. Okay, remember that's each term is being divided by 3. So that's 3x over 3 minus 12 over 3 as well. Okay, this part is. All right, so then I get 3 over 3 is just x. Negative 12 over 3 is negative 4 plus 4. So these cancel, and I'm left over with x. Hmm. 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 All right, let's try f or g of f of x, right? So now we're going outside in. We're looking at g first. So g was 3x minus 12. All right, so I'm going to replace x with f. Make that 3 times x over 3 plus 4 minus 12. Maybe you notice what's going about to happen. All right, so that's which equals 3x over 3 plus 12 minus 12, where our 12s cancel out, and I'm left over with just x. So if I take f of g of x and I get x, and I take g of f of x, and I also get x. Okay, there's a reason for that. If you look up at these two functions, remember what we talked about yesterday, how inverse functions have reciprocal slopes. Well, these slopes are reciprocals of each other, right? And if I do this, I take f of g of x, and I take g of f of x, I take a com composition of each of the functions, all right, and I, and I spit out x, that tells me this means that f of x and g of x are inverses. All right. Ooh, did not write means, right? Okay, holy buckets. Means. So this means that f of x and g of x are inverses because if I take a composition of each function, f of g of x, and I get x, and then I take g of f of x and get x, then Boom, inverses. All right. I'm sorry I didn't get to, you know, introduce the hot pockets, but hopefully this was good. All right. Hopefully you're all being behaving for the sub. I know you are. Um, your homework tonight is that compositions of functions homework sheet that that I believe was being passed out, and you're going to do the evens on that, the evens on that sheet. Okay, just the evens on that sheet for this weekend, plus the day nine homework. I will be checking that all on Monday. All right, have a great weekend. I'll see you back on Monday. Adios.